Hey, this is Phil Lilly, Lilly's Landing Resort and Marina on Lake Teeny Como. I'm out here with Jackson and we're going to do one cast. We boated up here, oh, today is Friday the 27th of November. We boated up here to the dam. We've been playing around for, gosh, a couple of hours today. Beautiful day, just a little bit of wind, um, a few clouds. Not a lot of boat traffic, uh, especially for a holiday weekend. Fishing has been uh, interesting. I uh, caught a couple decent rainbows up below the dam closer to the cable on white jigs and that's the report I got uh, shad flies drifting shad flies scuds and throwing white jigs have been catching some fish but I just didn't really do real good so I've just kind of worked my way down to this spot I'm uh, about 150 yards below outlet number four is where the pipe comes in and I'm about 450 yards below outlet three on the south bank north bank sorry running two units um, they do have two units not working or down for maintenance right now so all they can run is two units but they've been running that hundred megawatt for ever since yesterday uh, Table Rock's holding a little bit above 917. It, it, it came up a little bit in that last rain we got. But um, it's been interesting. I came over here and started fishing this bank about an hour ago. And uh, mind you, I caught two rainbows above on white jigs. But I pulled in here using a 332nd ounce Sculpin headed, um, sculpin and peach jig with four pound line. I started working this kind of slack water and I caught a Kentucky. Then I caught a smallmouth. This is in order. Then I caught a goggle eye. Then I caught a bluegill, um, red ear. Then I caught a white bass. What else did I catch? Well, I caught six species. I didn't catch a crappie. Kentucky smallmouth. What else did I catch? I thought I'd count six. Anyway, when I caught the, the the white bass, the last one, I thought, man, I can't catch more than five species. That kind of makes me mad. I can't remember that fifth one. Anyhow, um, the goggle eye was about an inch goggle eye. Then I caught two more smallmouth. And I, I threw back the one. I, it was pretty big. But then I didn't catch, I didn't throw back this one here. It was about the same size as the last one I caught before this one and I just thought well I better measure it just oh man these are pretty fish I better measure it 17 and a quarter small mile he came in real slow crazy so I've caught eight or nine warm water species on this bank in a row without catching a trout. This kind of, I'm not sure if I've ever done that here. Okay, I've been kind of throwing either straight across, a little bit down or a little bit up and working this. It is, it's about seven feet deep here seven or eight and i've been throwing out i'm trying to get it to go on the bottom and then just kind of work it back kind of slow and they've all been thumping it pretty good i'm not catching 
I'm not catching them fast and furious, but it's fun because you don't know what you're going to pull in. Once you hook a fish. When it comes off the bottom, it's pretty much done, so that wasn't really a very good cast. It's a little better cast. I'm not working it much. I'm really just letting it swing. I'm trying to keep the jig down. I just caught a trout. <laughs> That's the first trout I've caught on this bank. That's rainbow. Rainbows are fighting hard. Warm water fish, not so much. 58 degrees isn't that cold. About a 16, 17 inch rainbow. Got a belly on him. Stop. Thank you. I do have the trolling motor on anchor mode. That's why I'm staying right here. I actually wanted to go on and fish this area down here, a little lower, where I've been catching fish here the last couple times out. The shelf, got two boys fishing from the bank down there right now. Yeah, it's, it's pretty cool. I move every five minutes or so, just a little bit. It changes the, uh, changes the action, or changes the, the angle which I'm retrieving it. So I'm working a little bit different water every time I move. This bank here drops off pretty much straight down off those rocks. I am tempted to go work some different banks, even across the lake on the shallow side. I'm tempted to try those over there. The only thing is, the further down this bank I'll move, the faster the water gets. I'm working out of this eddy.
I'm just barely moving my rod tip, making that jig just dance just a little bit. I am way overdressed. It is hot. It's uh, it's probably only about 58. I got too much, too many clothes. Oh, there's a bump right there. Missed him. Let's see if he hits it again. Uh, that was bottom. There's where I wanted it. Okay. Go down just a little bit further. The water coming in there, I believe, is the water from the ponds on the other side of that dike. The hatchery keeps water in those ponds year round. And that's just the flow out of them. Some people think it's a spring, but it's really not. I think I'm getting too far down. Let's just go on up. I started up here at this tree. That's where I caught the bluegill and the I did see some families come in when I was going out and they were fishing power bait down from Fall Creek down and they had some nice fish. They had an 18 inch rainbow. They are catching some fish. This water here is a lot slower, a lot more of an eddy. As you get up to that pipe that comes in up there, that's that's where it's pretty much a dead stop. But there is some current here.
maybe a fish, maybe the bottom. Stop biting. cast here and then we're going to do something different. Well, they were popping it really good earlier. Even that bluegill. Still do something different. Take some of these clothes off. Okay. I think you can see the water over there. I'm gonna kinda ease my way over and fish. It's pretty fast. It's coming off this. There's trees and this thing right here, and it's a little deep over here, and I think there's going to be some fish there. We'll see. It looks fishy anyhow. Should be some fish holding in this deeper water down below this kind of this island I don't call it an island but a little shell it's not super deep probably a couple three feet maybe Drift on down a little ways. I love fishing these little spots. Because I know nobody's fished them. 
They're not many people. And they should hold fast. They do. Oh, got it. Just missed him. He was right up on the bank. It wasn't the same fish. Not the same location. Not too big. That's fun catching them like that. You kind of get the idea of what I'm doing, just kind of working my way down. You don't have to have a spot lock, you can just kind of work it and control it with your regular trolling motor. I do like this side a little, a little better than the other side because of the shade. Oh, what's that one? to the back. more casts and then I'm going to work down below that guy that's fishing.
Mmm. Best one. Last cast. Okay, we are going to swing around and go behind that guy. actually some lot slower water here than above what we call the rocking chair because that point where that guy was fishing blocks a lot of the current so a lot less current down on this side but it's not quite as deep either But that's okay, because it sh still should hold fish. again. I think I'm going to drift down below the tree. Try there, then I'm going to call it quit.
Oh no. Oh, it pulled out, I think. It did. Straighten it, I'm sure. Got a loop. Got a loop. Get out of there. Wow. That loop was way down in there. And I got lucky. Oui. Fooey, fooey, fooey. It's a pretty good little tap right over by those bushes. I'm really surprised this area right here is just not full of fish. And maybe it is, I just can't catch them. Those bites that you get down below the boat like this, you usually don't miss those. It's the ones that you get out here, the ones I miss a lot. Getting pretty shallow. That just means maybe they'll hit it when I'm jerking it like this. <sighs> Probably should just call it quits. Oh, 
I know I got two fish in here that I missed, so. One more. quit it's probably a long time I feel like it's a long time I only caught one or two fish one I don't know saw two fish thanks for watching I hope you learned something by working these banks it is a lot of fun see you tomorrow